that. <laughs> I was trying to do a cute intro. Shall I'm sorry. I want to kind of think of a better intro. And everyone's always obsessing over that song. Yeah, it was shitty. <laughs> yeah. But look, I brought with me a special guest again. This is Mr. Paddington Bear. Because you look like it. I saw the movie today and start crying because you're it was so cute and you look just like Paddington Bear because your eyes and the nose. And then I'm also joined today by Mr. Hitler. Well, I call him that because he's a schnauzer. He and schnauzers are German dogs, and frankly, he has an attitude like Hitler. So, everybody, here we go. This is Rudy, by the way. I call him Woody. His real name is Rudolph, just so y'all know. So, in the other video, I said Woody, but, you know, this is the way I like to see it. Kiss my baby. Okay. Let's move you aside, baby. I can't see. There we go. Yeah. There. Okay. So the other guest I'm joined by is my... He's going to be... Are you going to be seven? Yeah, you're going to be seven on August 11th. Yes. And this... This... I'm sure you all remember him from an old video. You don't look like a snouter then. He is ten and will be eleven sometime in May. a bit. I have my charger plugged in so that this doesn't turn to black automatically when I'm Oh! Well, uh, you want me to put, put you down? I'll put you down, honey. Whoa! Whoa! I got a whole party here. I got a full party of dogs here. You know, I'm sure. Babies, I'm trying. Oh, I love you, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to do my video here. You know? All right, I'm letting you all out. Just, just one second, please. Just one second, I need to let my dogs out. He wants to get off the bed, and I do not want him to jump off the bed because, frankly, um, I don't want him to sprain his leg like last time. So I'm going to get him off the bed. Just one second. Just stare at a pillow for just, like, literally one second. Hey! No, don't go after him. No. There you go. I'll leave it partially open because he'll scratch the damn door otherwise. Okay. Flying back up there. Where's my tea? I need to sip. Okay. So, this is pomegranate raspberry from Twinings. I need to fix the lighting too. I don't know. It was fine a second ago. For some reason, it's a bit, it's a bit dark. Um, let me see. Yeah. Is this any better? Why is it fuzzy? I don't know. Also, my hair looks bright, fiery, fucking red in this. No, I did not recolor it. My camera lighting is acting really fucking weird, but no, my hair, I did not dye cherry red. It just looks more amber than usual right now because of the light. In fact, I need to get my hair recolored because my roots are actually showing. And I also need to get my eyebrows done because I fucking hate my eyebrows. <laughs> and I apologize in advance for not wearing any makeup right now. I'm looking like shit because I 
I broke out, was going to wear makeup, but the weather, it's supposed to snow here, believe it or not, in Texas, I don't believe it, it won't stick. It was really cold and wet out, and frankly, when it's like that, you know, I don't really feel like wearing makeup, because, you know, I'm wearing glasses, and when you're walking around, it hits your damn glasses, it's just basically going to fall off anyway. Oh my god, it's been recording for six minutes already, this has been pointless. Well, I might have to edit, if I can. You know, I'm not really good at editing, I don't really know how to do all this stuff, because I don't record videos, so fuck it. Um, let's see. I'm getting myself up. Whoa! Quit looking at my boobs. Whoa. <laughs> I'm trying to get myself comfortable here. I'm on a, I'm not used to being on a small bed like this because my, my bed in my room is a queen-sized bed and my mattress a while back gave out, so I've been using my sister's bed and hers is like a what do you call it, twin size bed, I'm not used to it, so I don't really have a lot of room to move around on, so if I keep moving a lot in this video, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable, I don't really have anything to lay in other than the wall, because it's so close to the wall, and since it's such a small bed, I don't want to keep feeling like I'm going to roll off and hit myself and result in my sixth concussion, because no, that'd be bad, I have enough already as it is. Getting to the point, I'm doing this video as a follow-up to the Q&A promo on, uh, uh, when did I record it? When did I record that? Uh, on the 17th, 17th, damn, it's been, okay, so yeah, the 17th, whenever the hell that was, I don't, I'm, I'm really short term memory is fucked up, I can't, I don't remember what day of the week that is, I can check the calendar, yeah, let me look, on, uh, when was that? On Saturday. So on Saturday, five days ago, I did a Q&A promo to ask people if they had any questions for me, and I only received about three. Not that I really gave a shit or anything like that, but apparently the plan didn't really go as well as I thought it would go, but hey, at least I got some questions, so I'm not really fucking complaining, but... um. Yeah, I don't even care about views or even getting that many questions. I just did it because I was fucking bored. And I never make videos. I just felt like it one day. My God, I look fat in this video. Okay. Ah. Anyway, before I get to the main point, I wanted to show you all my new pillows. I love owls are one of my favorite animals besides Scotty dogs and turtles and. I got these on sale for $6 at Kirkland, so I've been, like, <laughs> using them on my bed. Of course, they're my sister's bed now because I'm showing y'all, but... Oh, they're so soft and they're so cute. And I, I use you for my back, so I have something to rest on, but... <laughs> I don't want to ruin you. You're, like, for decoration. You're too cute. I can't use you as a real pillow, but yeah. Okay. Just showing you this. Okay. So, yeah. The Q&A video is full. I'm cold. Let's get my blanket for my energy meme. I'm cold there. Yeah. It's like, I'm really cold. I'm not used to this. I'm, I'm, I live in Tech. Oh, finally, the light's working. Um, I'm not used to this because, you know, I live in Dallas, Texas. And since it's usually always hot weather, it, this is actually pretty usual weather for, <coughs> for Texas. Ten minutes, and I still haven't gotten to the point. Well, I'm gonna get a lot of fucking shitty reviews on this. Fuck it. Okay, since the Q&A video did not go that well, and this video is probably gonna be maybe broken in several parts since it's gonna be really long, I'm sorry. Um, since I only got a total of three questions, I'm going to answer this first, and I decided maybe I'll break this into separate parts or something and post them off several days of the week about me, uh, depending on how long it takes me to answer them. I'm sorry. Um, so I decided I'm going to do, t tell you all 25 things that you may not know about myself. It took me a long time to write these and think about them. I had a really hard time. I, and I had to write them down on index cards so from reading them in the video. I'm sorry, my short-term memory is that bad. And I had to write them on cards because I can't just stay them and automatically think them all. Well, maybe you all can, but I can't. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, depending on how long the video is, I might just break it up into 
several different parts or something. Also, why do my boobs look so damn big in here? Sorry, I'm like, I'm trying not to like make it focus on my boobs here. Just looks perverted here. Yeah. So, uh, getting started. I should have saved the questions and typed it up, but I remember the questions. Somewhat. Okay, so if I can remember, I believe, who was it? Hold on. Let me see. I remember their names. I have them on my deviant art thing. Who was it? Um I can't believe I forgot, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, I'm just making sure I have your name memorized. I know your name by heart, but I wanna I wanna make sure I don't say it wrong. Okay. Okay, I memorize it. I memorize it. I'm bad at memory names. I, I remember it. Okay, so Blue Horizon 89 asked me, have I ever played Pokemon? Yes. I when Pokemon first came out, God, this is so long ago. I remember how damn much money back then it cost probably like a dollar or so, maybe five dollars or so. I don't know how much it cost today, but back then it was a lot of money. So I used to beg my mom every week to take me to this baseball card selling store that sold baseball cards and they also had Pokemon cards. So I'd beg her for to buy a pack of little cards and I used to just collect them basically and I wanted to collect them all the time, but, you know, I didn't have, like, all the money in the world. And I used to have a binder. I actually still have a binder somewhere, unless I threw it away. I don't remember. It's some, it's it's somewhere, but I don't really give a fuck about it. I just don't care if I sell it on eBay or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I used to be obsessed with it, but then, I don't know, I just stopped liking it, I guess. I used to just trade cards and whatnot. And I even had a Pokemon Monopoly game. A Pikachu, a Pikachu plushie, and uh, a toy Pokedex thing, which I lost a long time ago. I don't even know where the hell it is, but that was like my favorite toy, and god, it was like 50 bucks for it, and I literally bugged the shit out of my mom to have it, because I was like, Mom, I have to have it to become the ultimate Pokemon monster at the time. Did I say monster? I meant master. Pokemon master, sorry. At the time, because like it was like a shit and whatnot. Um, yeah. So, oh, the main getting the question though. Yes, I play Pokemon. Um, but however, the only Pokemon game that I actually like played was the blue one, and I never could defeat the game because the farthest I would get is like I think this part where you take your Pokemon to the hospital or something because it's injured is like. I just got so fucking irritating every time I would, like, go to another village and I'd be walking in the grass, like, every five seconds a damn Pokemon would pop up, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I don't feel like fighting, and you can't run away from it all the damn time, and if you do try to run away, basically they'll kill you, and then you have to reload your fucking game all over again from that last save point. It just, it just pissed me off. I never could get past that, so no, I, I, I just, I didn't really like Pokemon much. I, I did have the Pokemon Monopoly game, though. I enjoyed that. You know, I was always a uh, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, or or Charizard. And I think one of my favorite characters was Misty. I like, I love that episode where she dressed up as a mermaid. That was, like, always my favorite episode. I actually own still the first two episodes that ever came out of Pokemon on VHS. When they, when they like, literally, when they first went on sale, I actually still have, like, the original copies of it somewhere. But I don't really give a shit. It's probably worth money now if you're like a Pokemon type of person, you know. Okay, um, what was the other question? Shit. Oh, uh, what, let's see. Uh, last two questions were actually from the same person. Uh, Gladence, uh, Glandence, I... The Glandence or Dance, I hope I'm, I'm saying, I hope I'm saying this right. I, uh, she asked, 
What's a circus like and why are you terrified of clowns? Well, let's see. Long story put shortly, I hate, I fucking hate clowns. They just, the makeup is just, I don't know why the fuck you have to wear makeup. I mean, it's just creepy enough making yourself look more creepy. What do you have to hide? Like your ugly ass face? Yeah, well, I'm sorry if you're ugly, but putting a bunch of bird shit or whatever the hell is on your face, it's just gonna make me, like, yeah, it's gonna make it look even worse, and then it doesn't help you making fucking balloons. So, basically, clowns. For my first birthday, my mom didn't know I was terrified of clowns, and she, um, my godparents decided to do a birthday for me, and they got me a cake that had the circus theme with clowns on it. I don't know, I guess, I just never liked clowns. And I remember <clears throat> my parents took me to the Ringling Brothers Circus once when I was little because I always wanted to go. And basically, the circus, because she wanted all to know what a circus was like. She never, it's like outdoors, there's like a big striped tent. It's been a, it's been a long time since I've been to circus, so I'm just going to try to do this from what I remember. Basically, you go in this red and white striped tent that's outside. It's like this humongous tent. And there's all these people in there. Some of them are freaks um, of nature. You know, there's like an acrobat that, you know, they're like these muscular, strong people that have really good agility and uh, balance. And they, uh, they get hovered above the air and some of them walk across a tight, a tight rope on a unicycle and whatnot. There's people that get shot out of a cannon. And then there's people that stick their head on a lion or go through, or make a lion go through a hoop or whatnot. There's a ringmaster, and basically he'll be like, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to our show, and blah, 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 blah. And then you basically buy food from, like, you know, like, well, sometimes you can buy hot dogs or usually cotton candy. Of course, I never really liked cotton candy as a kid. I always thought it was cool, but... For some damn reason, I used to think cotton candy was actually cotton, which would scare me. So I never, like, got into that shit as a kid. And I just didn't really like the taste. I mean, it's cool, like, how it's fluffy, but then it turns to sugar, and I don't know, it just, it's just, it's just fucking sponge sugar, so I never really thought it was, like, that tasty. But it looks cool, though. I mean, it's cute, and it's, it smells like heaven, I will admit. But yeah, I don't really like it. So, I remember how excited I was. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to see elephants and whatnot. So, I'm getting in there, you know, I'm begging my mom for some water or soda, whatever. And then they have this, like, old-fashioned popcorn stand. So, I got myself a bag of popcorn. And as I'm eating the popcorn and the show's starting, this person approaches me with this makeup dress and these horribly awful costumes. And the minute I saw their face... I about shit my pants. I dropped my popcorn and I just stood there frozen. And he's like, hey there, little sweetie. And his face is like, like a demonish face, literally right up to my face, look at me. And he's like, hey there, cutie pie. What's your name? I just literally, my jaw dropped. And I think... I think a little poop might have came out at the time because I was that terrified. And before you know it, uncontrollably, I started shaking and crying because this clown is in my face at the circus. I screamed so loud that they had to literally pause the show and the ringmaster was telling me to be quiet so they can continue. But I would not be quiet. So the clown thought it'd be funny if he was try to, like, do one of those balloon animals. And he's like, here, you want a balloon? Here, here's a balloon. Gee, if you're already fucking scaring me, what the hell makes you think you doing a balloon while making funny faces at me is gonna make me calm the fuck down? No, it didn't make me, it made me cry worse. And for this day, I can't go to circus from that moment. So, like, my mom literally had to pick me up and get me out of the circus so they could get in the show because I would not shut the fuck up. Same thing happened with a puppet show. It was like one of those British puppet shows that we went to in a mall with those puppets. And they had like some, I don't know, some 
Princess Dungeon Dragon crap, and then they had a puppet that looked like the devil. Maybe there was a clown, but it looked like the fucking devil to me. That's what it was. Scared the shit out of me. My sister didn't care. I was like, shut the fuck up to me, and I just, I cried again. So yeah, I, I can't stand clowns. And then you also wanted to know what college life is like. Oh, God, this is going to be a long fucking ass video. College life. Well, let me tell you. College life, basically, I guess it can be fun. But, of course, I can't really describe college life because I don't really go to university. I go to a community college. So, basically, what it's like is... You get to choose which classes you want to take, which days of the week you want to take, and what hours you also want to take. Instead of high school, you know, where you're there all day and you take required classes. Yes, in a way, it's like high school since you do have to take required classes. However, they are required classes that have to do with your degree plan. Basically, once you decide... Excuse me, that was rude. Really rude. That just came out of me. Once you decide which degree you want to major in, for example, I'm majoring in office systems technology with an associate degree in applied science. Once you decide on what field of studies you want to major in, you have to follow that basic plan if you want to get a certificate or a diploma. And depending on how many hours you have will determine whether or not you get the diploma or a certificate. For example, if I wanted a certificate, then I would only need 16 to 42 credit hours. But I'm going for a diploma, which is 60 or more hours. And a long story of what they fucked my degree plan up so many times. I literally have 64 credit hours, so I should already get my diploma. But basically, since they screwed it up, they're basically saying I'm taking all my classes. Bottom line story is they're deciding finally to let this damn class that I took to be included as an elective since it basically is an important class for me to take within my degree plan and when that gets counted as an elective I only have this last class to take which is introduction to digital media and once I get through that class in the spring I will get my diploma mm -hmm. because I've been in college for 4.5 years and when you've been in that college for like literally that long and almost five years with the disorganized crap and some of the teachers are just crazy you just want to get the hell out of there it's fun at first you can leave class where you want for example there's a boring lecture i was like fuck this shit i don't want to listen to the lecture i'm going to the movies well yeah you actually have to stay for if you give a crap about passing your class and you have a test next day you know but sometimes if it's stuff like you already understand or you've already been through it and you think you're okay then yeah you know you can get up and leave you can even go to the bathroom whenever you want. You don't have to pass or anything. You, have to, you don't even have to ask, raise your hand. You can just go. I mean, some teachers maybe will be like, why the hell are you leaving dinner in the middle of class, like a test or something, I understand. But yeah, usually they don't really care. They don't really care. You know, you can leave whenever you want because, you know, nobody's there to tell you what to do. You're on your own. I got an itch. So yeah, that's what it's like. Uh, it's It's stressful. You definitely have a lot more homework than you would get in high school. Sometimes it can take you a full day just to do it and you're up all night. You don't get sleep from it because you stress out so much. Sometimes you don't even get to do anything on the weekends because you're still doing stuff. And then the essays there can be as long as 10 fucking pages. So yeah, I know what that's like. I've had to do a 10-page essay before and be... Believe me when I say it was, it was fucking awful. I even used to have a friend that had to do a 20-page essay, and he said it was awful. But yeah, but yeah, I think the most I've had to do is like maybe eight or ten pages long, and that was like literally the longest thing I've ever done. And I suck at writing papers. So yeah, um, I really do suck at writing papers. <sighs> Moving along. God, I cannot believe it's almost been a half hour. Um, those are my Q&A questions. 